Jesus of Nazareth died upon a Roman cross outside of Jerusalem, outside of Jerusalem, outside of Jerusalem. Jesus in Luke chapter 13, 33 made it clear that it was impossible for him to die outside Jerusalem. Yet the person who died on the cross died outside Jerusalem. The Gospels make it clear that Calvary was outside the city. So once again, Christians have a choice. Either Jesus made a false prophecy when he said that it is impossible for him to die outside Jerusalem, or the person who died on the cross was not Jesus. I let Dr. White decide. And please bear in mind that Dr. White, openly in his first opening statement, clearly said Jesus died outside Jerusalem. Please remember he used those exact same words. Jesus of Nazareth died upon a Roman cross outside of Jerusalem. Outside of Jerusalem. Outside of Jerusalem. You say, well, wait a minute. Jonah said, you know, three days, three nights. Again, this is language that is utilized in the same way as inside and outside Jerusalem. Jerusalem could be a city, Jerusalem can be an area, Jerusalem can be a part of Judea. There's all sorts of different ways in which that takes place. And by the way, that's found not only in the New Testament, but in the Old Testament language as well. Outside Jerusalem, do you know why he was taken to Calvary and not killed in Jerusalem? Because according to Numbers chapter 15, it is against the law of the Torah to stone a criminal in the camp. And as Raymond Brown points out, they used to take them out of the city to, um, to execute people. This is why Stephen in Acts chapter 7 is also taken out of the city. So to believe Jesus died on the cross outside Jerusalem, which Dr. White never responded to, would be he's a false prophet. Because in Luke 22, he said he cannot die outside Jerusalem. Also... Matthew, uh, Matthew and Luke knew that this place was classed as outside Jerusalem because in one alleged saying of Jesus, Jesus, in, according to Mark, when he's talking about himself dying, he says, and they killed him and they took him out of the vineyard. So according to Mark, Jesus was killed in the vineyard, which is Jerusalem. But Matthew and Luke, they corrected Mark's te uh, text by switching it around and saying he was thrown out of the vineyard and then killed. How come? How come? What games are you people playing? And scholars such as Raymond Brown, I'll, I'll get the quote here. Once. This is what um, the New Jerome Biblical Commentary say. <coughs> then, uh, on page 665, Matthew inverts the order of events to fit the view that Jesus died outside the city. Come on, explain. You are cheating somebody. I can explain everything. Well, I can explain everything. I can explain everything. So Matthew and Luke understood Calvary as outside the city, so that's not taking us literally. Is that my time up? So thank you very much. Jesus did not die. Thank you. This is language that is utilized in the same way as inside and outside Jerusalem. Jerusalem could be a city. Jerusalem can be an area. Jerusalem can be a part of Judea. There's all sorts of different ways in which that takes place. Either Jesus made a false prophecy when he said that it is impossible for him to die outside Jerusalem or the person who died on the cross was not Jesus. And Matthew and Luke, they corrected Mark's te uh, text by switching it around and saying he was thrown out of the vineyard and then killed. Because according to Numbers chapter 15, it is against the law of the Torah to stone a criminal in the camp. And scholars such as Raymond Brown, I'll, I'll get the quote here, one second.
فبما نقضهم ميثاقهم لعناهم وجعلنا قلوبهم قاسية يحرفون الكلم عن مواضعه ونسوا حظا مما ذكروا به ولا تزال تطلع على خائنة منهم إلا قليلا منهم فاعف عنهم واصفح إن الله يحب المحسنين